everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is gonna share with you all how easy it is to make holiday sweet potatoes. These sweet potatoes right here, they're pretty much bomb. They're so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my sweet potatoes before. Gonna make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first thing that you will need is some sweet potatoes. So I was able to find some nice, beautiful sweet potatoes. I have washed these off with a little bit of cold water and then we've pat them dry. You will need some sugar. Now, when it comes to the sugar, you can use white and brown sugar. You can use all brown sugar. You can use light or dark brown sugar, whichever kind you like. And also you could use a um, non-sugar. You know, like the, um, we'll think of the name here in a little while. So we have some light brown sugar. You're gonna need a couple of spices. So we have some vanilla. We have some allspice, some cinnamon. We got some K-roll syrup. And we also have some sweet cream butter. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. The holidays are right around the corner and everybody is looking for that perfect sweet potato recipe. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this recipe that I'm gonna share with you all today, you're gonna to wanna to make it and put it on your dinner table. Everyone is going to absolutely love this recipe and what you're gonna love about the recipe is that it's so, so, so easy to make, yet it's packed with so much flavor. And now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can cook these on top of the stove. Absolutely you could. I, you know, honestly, I've never cooked sweet potatoes on top of the stove. I, it's really interesting to me and one day I wanna pick up the nerve to cook it on top of the stove, but today we're just gonna put them in the oven. But we are gonna do something really interesting today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna parboil these in a little bit of water, like, like kinda cook them half the way, and then we'll mix them in with our beautiful sauce, and then they'll go in the oven, because guess what I don't have? I don't have a whole bunch of time to have this setting in the oven for, you know, an hour. Because, you know, when thanks when Thanksgiving is here, I'm making all kinds of stuff. Everything's going in and out of the oven. And I don't want this recipe that's so simple to sit in the oven for so long. So what do you do? You boil it half the way in some water and then you continue to cook it the other half the way for a short time in the oven. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just peeling this potato so I can show you all um, what you need to do because there's so many people that really don't know what to do with the sweet potato once they bring it home. And there is a difference between sweet potatoes and yams and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I can't remember the difference but you can definitely Google it, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we have our potato nice and peeled just like so, and you can see that I have a whole bunch of other potatoes peeled beside me. I'm gonna show you all how I like to cut up my potatoes. Everybody does it different, but guess what? There's really no wrong way to do it. We're gonna have fun in this kitchen today. I'm gonna to show you all how to make some easy, delicious sweet potatoes, Gina Young style. You won't be let down when I come back. I couldn't be more excited to share this recipe with you all. It's so flavorful. And now there is a such thing as overcooking your potatoes. Make sure you're not that person that overcooks them. So as they're baking in the oven, every once in a while, go in and sample one. You want it to have a little bit of al dente, but you still want it to be nice and soft. Now, uh, when it comes to these potatoes, um, I peeled the potatoes yesterday and they all look beautiful, just like this. But what's gonna naturally happen, and we have to talk about this, what's gonna naturally happen is the oxid, uh, it'll oxidize naturally. What happens is once it hits the air, you'll start to get some brown marks on it. Okay, so all of these potatoes, they really did. They look just like this when I peeled them, but since I peeled them yesterday, you know, air has got to them and we got some brown marks, but don't freak out about it because guess what, it's okay. And if you wanted to, you can go back over it and cut all those brown marks off, okay? So I just wanted to address that. So now, here's how I like to cut my sweet potatoes. I would say this is about a quarter inch, okay? 
So now let's cut another one because you don't want to cut it too thin, yet you don't want it too thick. If you cut it too thick, you'll be baking these babies forever, okay? So just like this. Now there is a frozen sweet potato that you can find in the freezer section of your local market. I know I've always found it at Walmart that's frozen and it looks just like this and it comes in a vacuum, vacuum sealed package that I've tried them before and they are absolutely delicious and it really helps you cut down this process here where you have to peel them and cut them down, you know, and they're fresh. They were just peeled and they were sliced for you and they were frozen. Okay, so now that we have our potatoes nice and sliced up, let's go ahead and do this one as well. I hope that you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever tasted sweet potatoes. There are some people that's never tasted them. And, and how you'd like to make yours. I know there's so many people that like to do all kinds of stuff with sweet potatoes. And I think that's you know, it's great. Some people like to use pineapples. Some people like to use those marshmallows. You can really have fun with the sweet potato. You can even make sweet potato pie. Who doesn't love sweet potato pie for the holiday? I know we do here at the Young's House. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to cut these down just like so. And when I come back, all of these potatoes will be cut. I'll show you all what you need to do next. So now that we have all of our potatoes nice and cut, I wanted to show you all that we will be using a 12 by nine disposable pan. You can use any kind of pan you have. If you got a cake pan, use that. Now, I do wanna give you all the option that you don't have to boil them. If you have time to cook these in the oven, then you don't have to boil them. You can skip that part. But if you want these babies to cook up fast, boil them half the way, bake them the rest of the way. So now when I come back, we'll get these into our boiling water and we're gonna salt our water so we can make some beautiful flavor onto our sweet potatoes when I come back. I know right now you guys are saying salt the water. Yes, salt the water, you need to, just, just salt the water. All right, so now let's get our potatoes in and we're gonna aim to cook them for probably, I literally would say maybe a good 12 minutes. And that's it. And you're gonna see them turn a really bright color. And then we'll take them out, we'll get them into our pan. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you all how to make this amazing glaze to put on top of these potatoes. So now that we have our potatoes cooking, now is your perfect time to get started on this brown sugar glaze. And like I said, from time to time, you might even see me use white sugar. You know, sometimes I use honey, sometimes I use maple syrup. Like you can, you can pretty much have fun with sweet potatoes. And honestly, however you make them, they're gonna turn out good. How, if you make them do the on step. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack in uh, two cups of sugar. Whether it's white and brown, doesn't matter, dark brown. I like to use light brown sugar when, I, when I'm cooking for some reason. When I'm baking, I like the light brown sugar. I just feel like dark brown sugar gives you a really, really dark color that I'm really not interested in when it comes to certain recipes, you know. All right, and it does have a, a molasses in it. I, I don't know, don't quote me on this. I'm not sure exactly how it's made, but I just don't prefer that darker one. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. My mouth is watering. We're gonna melt this butter and this sugar together, but we're gonna go ahead and season now. Go ahead and get you a nice amount of cinnamon in there. If you wanted to put um, some cloves in, you could. I'm gonna put some ground allspice. Just like so. And we're gonna do something a little interesting, a little bit of salt. Don't get crazy with it. But I always tell you guys when you're making something sweet, you put some salt in and really bring out those bright flavors. Okay, so what we're aiming for is we want for the butter to get nice and melty, the brown sugar to combine with the butter and those spices, and then I'll tell you the perfect time to put your K-Roll syrup in. K-Roll syrup is gonna do something really special. It's gonna give you that glossy glaze look that I love. There is a such thing as making sweet potatoes and it just didn't have that glaze to it. Use this and it will, or you could use maple syrup, okay? So now, and when I um, put the K-Roll syrup in, I just kind of douse it in there. I really don't measure, and you don't have to measure. When I come back, I'll, I'll tell you all how much of this you should put in. 
So now that our brown sugar and our butter has kind of combined together, you want to put some type of liquid. Now listen here, you can use water, you can use pineapple juice, you can use orange juice. I'm going to use a little bit of apple juice and that would be around about a half a cup. Okay, so that's what I have here. Apple juice going in. We just want to thin it out a little bit. Okay, now this is being cooked on a medium heat. I've turned the heat down because there's no reason to have it up on high, you know. All right, and you see how we're getting a beautiful sauce? That's what we're wanting. And that applesauce or your orange juice or your pineapple juice is gonna bring a great addition to your sweet potatoes, okay? So when I said I just put a douse, that's it. <laughs> it is about this much, but that's how much I wanna use, okay? And that's how much you need to use. Now, when it comes to the vanilla, we're gonna put the vanilla in after we turn this heat off, okay? All right, beautiful. It smells so buttery. It's gonna be so vanilla, vanilla e. How do you say that? Vanilla e. <laughs> we'll make it a word today. All right, now our potatoes should be just about done. And what I want to do is I'm gonna drain them with the colander. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna get them into our nine by twelve baking dish. So now what I've done is I did put some more cinnamon and a little bit more allspice. Now that we have the heat off, put you some vanilla and guess what? As much as you want. Listen here, you can put a little bit of almond extract. Have fun with it. You wanna put some orange extract, whatever you wanna do. All right, just like so. Beautiful, ooh yes. And you know what, if you wanted to put a little bit of pecans in here, or if you wanted to put some pineapple pieces in here, now would be the perfect time. So what I'm doing is just mixing in that vanilla and picking up any sugar that's at the bottom of the pan. Now, take a look at what I've done to our beautiful sweet potatoes that have been cooked half of the way. How long did you cook them, Gina? Well, I boiled them for 12 minutes in salted water. 12 minutes was all we needed to cook them half of the way. And I put them in hot water. I didn't put them in cold water when we got them started. Okay, so now that I have everything mixed up, let's go ahead and pour this beautiful glaze right on top of our sweet potatoes. I boiled some extra potatoes for Prince and Polo. They are gonna be so excited when they see in their food tonight that they're gonna have pieces of sweet potato in their food. They're so spoiled. They are so spoiled. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh, all right. We're gonna take a little bit of extra cinnamon, throw it right on top, just like so. Get this in the oven, 350 degrees. And when this comes out, I'll let you know how long it took to bake these. And guess what? Don't cover it with foil. And the reason why I tell you don't cover it with foil, if you covered it with foil, you will create steam and the steam will cause your sauce to get watery. And we want the sauce to remain nice and thick. Now the sauce will get even thicker once you take it out of the oven and you let it sit on the counter for at least a half an hour or so. When I come back, this will be out the oven. I'll say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. I want you all to take a look. It is beautiful. Now I'm not gonna get too close with the heat you know with my camera on the sweet potatoes but it's hot and it's bubbly and it looks gorgeous i have stuck a fork down into my sweet potatoes and they are just almost perfect okay they're not gonna be mushy this is what you want make you some gina young style oh yes uh-huh oh i can't wait take a look at these sweet potatoes gina young style Let's do a 360. My. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now we've taken a spoon and we've just taken the sauce and did a nice little drizzle. And like I said, the longer that this sits on your counter, that sauce will get nice and thick. Oh my goodness. Listen here. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. I'm gonna say a quick prayer. We're all gonna take that first bite when I come back. Look, look at this. This is what you call sweet potatoes and this is how yours should look.
And there we have Prince and Polo. We have Prince right there on the left and Polo on the right. Say hi, guys. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for loving and protecting us and keeping us safe. And we pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Let the devil know he has no authority over this household. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, <laughs> oh, look how they are not mushy. Look. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. I'm going in. I am going in. And I'm going to bring the camera much closer so you all can really see just how they look. Look at that. I'm going in. Mm, 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 mm. The perfect amount of sweetness. And you can really taste those gorgeous spices. Look at that caramelization that we have. Mm. <laughs> mm. And as always, God bless. Good night.